ఓపెన్ అప్ జనిక్ సో ఇన్ ద ప్రీవియస్ లెక్చర్ వీ హ్యావ్ సీన్ హౌ టు ఫైండ్ ద ద యాంగిల్ బిట్వీన్ ద ఫేస్ డిఫరెన్స్ బిట్వీన్ ఈ అండ్ హెచ్ అండ్ హౌ టు ఐడెంటిఫై ద ద మీడియం వెదర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అ లాసి మీడియం డైలెక్ట్రిక్ మీడియం ఓకే సో హౌ టు రైట్ ద ద ఇఎం హెవ్ ఈక్వేషన్ హౌ టు ఐడెంటిఫై ఆల్ఫా బీటా అండ్ గామా అండ్ హౌ టు ఐడెంటిఫై ద ఫేస్ వెలాసిటీ అండ్ ఫేస్ ద ఒమేగా ఓకే సో లైక్ దట్ సో ఇఫ్ యూఆర్ వెరీ క్లియర్ ఇన్ దట్ సో ద ఎంటైర్ ద యూనిఫామ్ ప్లెయిన్ వేస్ ఈస్ వెరీ సింపుల్ ఓకే సో హియర్ ఎ న్యూ కాన్సెప్ట్ కేమ్ హియర్ ద ఎలక్ట్రిక్ ఫీల్డ్ ఇంటెన్సిటీ అబ్జర్వ్ దిస్ రైట్ ది అబ్జర్వ్ దిస్ క్వశ్చన్ ద ఎలక్ట్రిక్ ఫీల్డ్ ఇంటెన్సిటీ ఆఫ్ ఎ ప్లెయిన్ వేవ్ ట్రావెలింగ్ ఇన్ ఫ్రీ స్పేస్ ఈస్ గివెన్ బై ద ఫాలోయింగ్ ఎక్స్ప్రెషన్ ఓకే దిస్ ఈస్ ద ఎలక్ట్రిక్ ఫీల్డ్ ఈస్ గివెన్ సో ఇన్ దిస్ ఫీల్డ్ కన్సిడర్ ఎ స్క్వేర్ ఏరియా ఆఫ్ కన్సిడర్ ఎ స్క్వేర్ ఏరియా ఆఫ్ 10 సెంటీమీటర్ 10 సెంటీమీటర్ ఆన్ ఎ ప్లేన్ ఎక్స్ ప్లస్ వై ఈక్వల్స్ టు వన్ ద టోటల్ టైమ్ యావరేజ్ పవర్ ఇన్ మిల్లీ వాట్స్ పాసింగ్ త్రూ ఇన్ మిల్లీ వాట్స్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ద క్వశ్చన్ ఇన్ మిల్లీ వాట్స్ పాసింగ్ త్రూ ద స్క్వేర్ ఏరియా ఇట్ ఈస్ ఆస్డ్ ఇన్ టూ థౌజండ్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ గేట్ ఫర్ టూ మార్క్స్ so what he has asked he has given the electric field intensity electric field vector electric phasor electric field phasor now so for this phasor he has asked the the time averaged power the time averaged power passing through this this surface plane this surface of having a surface area of 10 cm and 10 cm if this is the electric field intensity okay so now what is the time averaged power so to get this time averaged power we have to know the time averaged power density okay if you know the time averaged power density if you multiply this time averaged power density with the area that area you will get the the time averaged power so here the time averaged power and it is very simple concept okay so what is the time averaged power or next concept is the pointing vector pointing vector so what is the pointing vector means the e cross h e cross h is equals to a p electric field cross magnetic field is equals to the, the power we will see whether it is a power or something else so what are the units of this the units of this are volts per meter what are the units of this the units of this are ampere per meter then what will be this watt per meter square watt per meter square volt into ampere is watt per meter square so this shows what what about this this is nothing but the the power density power density of an em wave the power density of an em wave and this can also be known as it is also can be said as it is called as the pointing vector so why it is called as vector because it is a vector it is a vector e cross h is equals to p p bar it is also vector why what is the vector direction what is the direction it has the direction of what it has the direction equal to what the direction equal to the e cross h e cross h is man nothing but what e direction cross h direction is equals to the p direction what is the e direction cross h direction is the propagation direction okay 
so the pointing vector direction will be equal to the the propagation direction the direction is equal to the the propagation direction so this is the thing you have to notice so what is the meaning of this pointing vector it is showing the the power flow direction the power density direction it is the power density direction means the power flow direction in this direction the power is flowing okay suppose if you take z propagating wave the power will be flowing in z if you observe this in this question it is traveling in which direction it is traveling in a positive x direction now the power is power density the pointing vector density or the power density direction would be ax plus ax okay so now now come to this so now what is this e and h so already we know e is e can be written as what e can be written as e not e power minus alpha z e not minus alpha z e power j omega t minus beta z cross what is h h not into e power minus alpha z e power j omega t minus beta z right this is called as p of z comma t why it is p of z comma t what i have written i am assuming this e as what i am assuming this e as what e of z comma t e of z comma t cross h of z comma t i am writing this e is nothing but it is not simple e e is nothing but electric field phasor and the magnetic field phasor i am assuming the z propagated wave and now this is called as what it is representing the power density at a distance and a time it is representing the power density at a distance z at a time if you put z and t values it will give you the the exact power density at that particular distance and that particular time so this is called as this is called as instantaneous pointing vector it is called as instantaneous pointing vector okay so it will give you the exact value at that particular interval of time at the particular distance suppose if the above if the above expression is averaged with respect to time suppose if i want to remove the time average the uh, time um, time values okay if i want to i don't want to include the time expressions here then what i have to do i have to do the conjugate of these two okay suppose what i have to do suppose if i want to average with respect to time if i want to average with respect to time so that means if i want to write p of z average p of z average means it will not include with respect to time this is called as a time averaged expression the time averaged pointing vector or time averaged power density so this is the thing understand so if i want to write the time averaged pointing vector so i am finding the average value average value means what it is a harmonic it is a harmonic for finding the average value i have to take you i have to take the the rms values what is the rms value for this what is this is the amplitude for this this is the amplitude for this the rms value would be e not e power minus alpha z divided by root 2 h not 
e power minus alpha z divided by root 2. The final answer would be what? e naught h naught divided by 2 e power minus 2 alpha z. So from this what can I write? 1 by 2 e naught square divided by eta. I can write e by h equals to eta. 1 by 2 e power minus 2 alpha z. Because what? e naught divided by h naught is equals to eta. I can write like this. Or otherwise I can also write what? 1 divided by 2 eta h naught square e power minus 2 alpha z. So this is called as the time averaged pointing vector. This is represented with P of Z average. So I am representing in a different manner. I am representing in a different manner right like this. Because it is a P, I am representing this P as like this. Okay. It is representing, I am writing this not to confuse with the power. So that means this is what power density, not a power. Okay. So that means I can write this is power. Okay. It is the power, P of Z average. So this is called as the time average pointing vector. Okay. It is for any medium. It is for any medium. Okay. Now, what it would be? Suppose if I want to calculate for the what? Free space. Then what it would be? The free space would be, then what will be the direction? We forgot to write the direction. Okay. We forgot to write the direction. What is the E direction? X. E direction is AX. H direction is AY. Then the power direction would be, it would be AZ. It is AZ. So it is also AZ. The power direction would be AZ. Power density, pointing vector direction would be AZ. So that's why I have written Z here. So from this, from this, so suppose if I want to write the time average pointing vector P of Z average. In free space, what I what I have to write? Alpha is equal to 0. 1 divided by 2 e naught square divided by eta. I can also write 1 divided by 2 h naught square eta. This is for free space. And what is the direction? The direction is az. Direction is az. So this is called as the time average pointing vector. This is for free space. Okay, why it is here sigma is equals to 0. If you put sigma is equals to 0, sorry, alpha is equals to 0. If you put alpha is equals to 0, you will get the this one. See here, you can apply this formula here now. So, this is the time average pointing vector. It is the time average pointing vector, or it is also called as time average power density. All are same. Suppose if you want to write the power, power crossing is equals to, power crossing is equals to what? Integral of P of Z average. Dot ds. Okay. Simple. So from this, what he has asked? So if you know this, this formula you can directly write. So in this what is the P of Z average? You can write P of Z average. You can write P of Z average is equals to 1 by 2 E naught is given. E naught square is 24 pi whole square divided by eta is 120 pi. What is 
the power flow direction what is the direction of this the direction of this power power direction is equals to az ax not az here okay because it is traveling in ax direction now how can you write the power the power is equals to power is equals to this one into 120 pi so this is 24 pi into 24 pi divided by 120 pi into ax dot now what is the ds what is the ds surface area come to this so what would be the surface area now he has given that one surface what is that surface this is the surface given a plane what is that plane this is the plane so the plane is x plus y equals 0 it will be like this it is 1 it is 1 what is intersecting it is 1 then what will be the direction for this the direction will be this is the surface direction the direction would be normal to this surface okay the direction would be normal to this direction okay so what is the direction this is ax plus ay you have to take the this is a scalar surface let us suppose s is equals to x plus y minus 1 okay let us suppose f is equals to x plus y minus 1 then what is what will give gradient of f gradient of f gives you the variation of the quantity in this direction so this would be equals to ax plus ay okay so what would be the delta f divided by the unit vector i have to write the unit vector to write the unit vector this is delta f why i have to write the unit vector i have to take the surface direction i already having i am already having the surface area what is the surface area surface area is this one given surface direction i have to know so surface direction will be is equals to what this would be is equals to ax plus ay divided by root 2 so now what is the surface direction this will be 10 centimeter into 10 centimeter what is the direction direction is ax plus ay divided by root 2 it is 100 centimeter square 100 into centimeter centimeter square okay 10 power minus 2 if we simplify this you will get some 53 point something okay 53 or 54 you will get like this so this is watts so like this you have to proceed okay thank you